In this video, we're going to look at coding sequence analysis. While coding co-occurrence analysis looks at the concomitant or associated presence of codes, regardless of their order of appearance in documents, the code sequence finder is used to identify codes that not only co-occur, but do so in a specific order and under specific conditions. Identifying temporal sequences can be useful when analyzing interactions among people or chains of events. The coding sequences command lists the frequency of all sequences involving two selected sets of codes, as well as the percentage of time one code follows or is followed by another. Let's get started. Select Analyze at the top of the screen and scroll down to Coding Sequences. A Coding Sequences Finder dialog box appears. We will define a sequence as a code following another without overlapping it. Setting the maximum distance option to zero codes will restrict the definition of sequences to codes immediately following each other. Setting it to one code will relax this definition and include two following codes rather than one. You can also set the maximum difference separating the codes in terms of number of characters, words, or paragraphs. Select Search. Green cells are sequences that occur more often than expected. Red cells are sequences appearing less often than expected. The brighter the color, the greater the deviation from the expected frequency. Three display modes are available. Numbers only, colors only, and colors and numbers. Frequencies, percentages, or probability values may also be displayed in the table. Selecting a cell displays statistics about the selected sequence. Clicking the search button retrieves text segments associated with the selected sequence. The coding bar can be used to attach a new code to retrieved segments. The frequency list displays statistics on all observed sequences. 